Welcome back to Terraria. This still isn't really working, I don't think. <laughs> but it's it's good enough. Got a small hint, which is about what I'm looking for, to talk to the Tinkerer again here. See if we can figure anything out. No, these Ethereum goblins are nothing like my people. Really rowdy bunch. Not my people are much better. And I think I'm seeing here. Reforge. We already looked at the shop. We got all the things out of here we really wanted. But I think what we're looking for here is the reforge option. Listen, I'm here to reforge. Costs four gold, three silver, 33 copper. Our total savings is this much. This platinum or diamond? Probably platinum. So currently we have our beekeeper with no special anything. We can change what it is for four gold. That's cool. I mean, I guess we can try it. Yep. Click here and reforge. And then the next one is more expensive. Well, this is plus 13% damage. So I'm good with that. So that is definitely something we can make use of in the future. We already have a superior gun and a ruthless harpoon and a nasty water bolt. So sharp, superior, ruthless, and nasty. Seems like a pretty good combo of effects, I'd say. But that's, that's just straight up better. Just costs a little bit. That's okay. Take the bank with us. Opens one locked gold chest or lockbox. Alright. So we are heading back to the dungeon. So I want to keep exploring over there. See how much deeper it goes. See if we can unlock more of these chests. I feel like there's not going to be 12 more gold chests, but I, mean, I guess you never know. We will see, won't we? Don't yet have a nice easy teleport over there yet. Well, it's not like this is too hard. Especially with all of our jumping abilities. Do 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 do. Into the snowy biome. That was a good time. And then back over here. We do have some kind of teleporters. So we might be able to do something with that. Have to test that out at some point here. For now, the nice easy walk is not a huge inconvenience. I think there is options for larger world sizes, so that could make teleporting even more useful. Should be an idea. Looks like we also need. Make some more torches and stuff. Those are flaming arrows. That's the opposite of what we need to do. We don't have any... We don't have any gel on us, so we can't make more torches. Alright. Ah. Uh, kind of need that. I don't think we're going to get any gel down there. We could, we could just teleport back. <laughs> That's why we should be more prepared. Before we run away. Any slimes? No enemies nearby. Right. 
Oops. Could just restart the episode, but we also did look at the reforging, so. Oh well. Now make some. Make some torches. Shell. Or is that the, is the end here? I put this back in. I need to figure out how chests work exactly here. Here's torches. Yeah, a few hundred of those. Get some more platforms. There we go. Something like that. Something like that. Seems like our double jump just comes back every time. There's not like a big waiting period on it. Oh, here's a slime. I'm sure we passed a few slimes. All the way over here. What's with this? We got some. Momentum going. That helps. And more practice flying is always a good idea. I don't think we need to improve anything. For the way over here. We can easily make it up and over stuff at this point. Ice slime. This is fine. It's just fun kind of flying around. Pretty good time. The power sword just makes bees. It's pretty wild. It's pretty great. Alright, back to the dungeon. Let's get in there. This time with torches, which is going to be a good idea. Seems like the guy here is still not here. Hasn't come back ever. I guess that's okay. That is a switch that was holding the light up there. Because Skeletron did not drop anything. So being able to fight that boss again is not the biggest deal. There's a spike thing. Don't know what's going on with that. If it's like a monster, buries in or something. Just randomly spawns. I don't know. Pretty weird. That's okay. Not seen too many dungeon denizens quite yet. I guess that's nice. We don't fall into this pit anymore. That's also a good, good strategy. Think we can blow these up or something? There's some guys. Tile counters. That's what I always dreamed of. Let's let's get him. Let's get moving in here. We're gonna have so many tile counters. We can sell them and all that, which will be nice. Get some more bones. 
It looks like we like one shot that guy now. That's pretty good. Eh, just about. The mages really do not have much health. What if this also boosts the B damage? We got a lot of a lot of skulls are coming now. Oh, we got. We got spikes, we got the weird ball thing there. We continue the battle against the spikes. And here. As we saw, we already we were already just jumping straight into it again. Out of here. Let's get some bees. That'll help. Range weapon. I guess it's technically a magic weapon or something. All right. We need to heal here. We can make a campfire. Just kind of heal up a little bit. We got a voodoo doll. That's something. There's a lot of guys up there. 200 angry bones. Yep. Grab all that. I guess we can add some bees to this equation. Opened up the way here, though, now. So now things can get down. Just an ideal, obviously. It really is crumbly at this point. We need to start making some farmers here. Also, and we go back out. That'll help. The enemies just keep coming and they don't stop coming. My goodness. Here's a spiky room of death. that. more spikes we need to worry about. Green dungeon bathtub. What will they think of next? See that? Ball going over there. Also, 
just collect a whole bunch of spices. Another thing we can do. I think their magic can really go through the walls. Well, that's nice for us. Abigail's just down there, winning. Slowly but surely. So you need to stay vigilant for breakable blocks. I guess they can go through that. Like right here. Image. Cursed skull. We can also see our Kill counts here. There's a rare creature nearby, Dungeon Slime. I guess that's slightly rare. So with a pickaxe, we can actually get through here faster. That'll work. This gets us to more of the dungeon. More guys in it. And more spikes, which of course it does. Oh my gosh. I'm seeing... Seeing some spikiness over here. It didn't quite work. No, that not that not a hole? Looks like a hole. That looks like it was gonna be a hole. 250 angry bones. Woo! Oh, we don't have the kind of key for this chest here. We have gold keys for gold chests. This is a whole different kind of chest. Huh. Well, I guess there's reasons to come back here then. This one needs like a fancy key with a red gem and silver key. Interesting. Alright. Sparky painting. You can take care of that. Spikes are a real threat here. Got some bees. Got some torches. Special feet, just keep on getting ourselves in the spikes. We need our campfire back. That'd be good. Let's go pick that up.
by me. Just gonna go get a campfire. But of course they do mind me. They mind me quite a bit. Some enemies drop health. That's pretty nice. Right, this is gothic. We got gothic tables. Oh, spikes. This would be like a deeper dungeon kind of area. Seems like. That's interesting. Oh. Well, it looks like the bees can affect this. That's pretty nice. I remember that. Yeah, hey, I think it's a. I think we got a chest we can actually use over here. And a lot of breakable area here. Seems dangerous. Around here for a second. There's stuff below us. Spooky. We need space. We need space here. So let's put some stuff in the piggy bank. Pretty much everything. What's this? A Nazar. Immunity to curse. So curse is a thing. That's something. Put the money away. I guess we can keep this out here because we're about to loot this chest here. This has a strong valor. This has a yo-yo. A shadow key. Opens shadow chests and obsidian lockboxes. Tungsten, glow sticks, and gold. Shadow key, you say? Now that is interesting. I don't think the chest that we came past that we couldn't open was a shadow chest. Didn't seem particularly shadowy, all things considered. Get this other hanging skeleton. <laughs> Got it. Beautiful. And these books 
chest here. We can find a shadow chest. Fill the rest of this. Nice and full. And these spikes. Oh, there's a lot of guys on there. Apparently they are immune to spikes. These skeletons. Good for them. If you can be immune to spikes, I would recommend it. I would recommend that highly. Spike, spike, spike. Maybe we can do something with all these spikes at some point. That'd be nice. Alright. Let's get our campfire back. Did we, did we throw out the flower? I think we did. It's not my inventory. Maybe we put it in the piggy bank. We accidentally threw it out. Yes, we did. We, we got more of those, though. That's okay. That's not good, though. Don't know how long things stay on the ground, either. Let's see if we can... Make our way backwards here and see if we can find that. Is this a shadow chest? No. The key definitely looks different. Well, that makes sense, that's not good. It looks like a big flower on the ground. Not seeing anything flower looking. There's a rare dungeon slime. Got another tally counter. Alright. Okay, if we can find a gold chest with whatever chest key we need for this kind of chest, that'd be good. Here's a chair. Like that. Also goes this way. There's a heart. Hey, there's another chest over there. This is a great direction to go. Full of spikes, because of course it is. How could it not be? And right over to the chest. If we get the other key, that'd be great. We got a, another shadow key. A zealous blue moon. 57 damage. My goodness. Some arrows, gold bars, good healing potions. Fifty seven damage. That seems wild. An ancient necro helmet increases range damage. That's something different. Increases pickup range of life hearts. Seems pretty wild. Some kind of crazy flail thing. Why is this breakable? This goes back to here. Now. Right. 
interesting stuff. Let's take this chest. Let's let the bees sort that out. A water candle. When only this may attract unwanted attention. Hopefully, just holding it. By holding it, they mean equipping it. That's probably fine. Probably not fine. That's okay. It's not fine, and that's fine. It's getting pretty full. Shadow key, shadow key. The shadow keys don't stack. That's unfortunate. I'd love it if we could have the shadow keys stacking. Tinker Bones banner. progress in here. We got this this chest here we can't do anything about, unfortunately. We can go down this way or down this way. Alright, one side of this is Breakable, and the other side is spikes. That's not great. The switch turns on that lantern. Thanks. All right, this is not the best spot here. I can straight into the spikes. Of course, he did. Bleeding. Oh, here it is. Water candle increases monster spawn rate. Alright, so it is. It is doing things. Oh, what's this? I mean, more monster spawn rate is not the worst thing that could happen. Cover the area in bees anyway. Let's not fall down to this pit. Let's see what we found over here though. This is definitely a something. An alchemy table. Alright. Neat. Go Abigail, go. Anything's gonna be down here. Probably. Alright. Yeah, this is this is a this is a spike pit. Hundredth Dark Caster. Where are the horrible stuff there? Oh, he, he just walked in this room and got destroyed. Hilarious. Really? He 
use more bees. That should deal with the situation here. We just be careful to move down just one block at a time here. We can actually make progress here. We'll be a scrub stairs. Do we need to deal with this spike pit? No. Dealing with it anyway. Close to the bottom. pretty convenient if they took spike damage. That's just too much to ask, I suppose. 350th Angry Bones. The magic knocked us into the spikes. Not good. Now we want to see. Technically, we could be safer from the spikes by stop going towards the spikes like we are. <laughs> That's not an option. Stuff we're picking up. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff right there. I done just fine. In theory, having more things spawn could mean more rare spawns too. That'd be nice. Can't pick up this table. Our inventory's full. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Bees. Continues on and continues on. Here comes, here comes this guy. I don't want to lose that table. We could probably make another table easily enough. So we got anything here that would stack? We got a lot of stuff here in stack. Now we got two of these spiky ball guys here. There's a trap there. Ow. All right, we picked that up. There's another spike guy there. We got some space now. Again. That's a good dangerous spot. Got 
spikes. Skulls. And it kind of goes over to this one. How much is that? We've managed to get the uh, fiery blazing wheel just here. guys right over there. I guess we put the candle in the piggy bank. So we should have less spawning now, in theory. I don't know if this is going to go anywhere. This might just be another spike pit. Looks like it. Anything down here? Not really. Let's get out of this section then. Let's say hi to all these guys. much damage, it's just a little annoying. We don't have... We can't just wait around, look at the map. Those things are still attacking us. Dark trap here, shall we? And the connected pressure plate. Continue down this way, I guess. Me the spikes. Tell us all this time. As long as we just stay in the middle here, we're actually fairly safe, hilariously. more dungeon there's gonna be. I feel like there's been a lot. There is a maximum amount of anything that anything can be. Ooh, we got another fancier chest. Again, don't think we have the don't think we have the thing for that. That does not look like a shadow chest to me. Look at 
its new Spelunker potion. Jump over that. That's the gold. I can't hear you. It's got a blood key. Wild. Gothic bookcase. This is a, another distinctly different looking dungeon background. Four hundred angry bones. Ow. This is not a great spot here. I need to leave. Though we're seeing another large room right below us. Here's another different kind of chest. This one has a green bit on it. Right, we need to get... Did we pick up our campfire again? Yes, we did. Nowhere flat enough to put a campfire here, unfortunately. Yeah. See another bit of the dungeon down below. So we found three different, different chests. Interesting. There's more, more dungeon there somehow. I think we get to there through here, by the looks of it. Oh, inventory is so full. I think we could grab a safe. Let's see if that counts as like another separate, completely usable inventory like these. Or if we can't even put everything in our inventory from this chest. That'd be unfortunate. Thought that was a trap. Just a spike. Or a dungeon block. This is an extensive, extensive dungeon. My goodness. Well, I found plenty of uses for all these. Found a handgun, just arrows, gold bars, throwing knives, water walking, glow stick, and gold. Need three more spaces here. Right. This has this has to be the end. Leave it all. Check that. Got the piggy bank. Okay. Let's pick up the rest of this gold here. And let us get out of here. Alright. Interesting stuff here. Pig bank here. Quick stack to nearby chests. And what does quick stack here do? Doesn't take it out and stack it. Quick stack. I think it stacked the tally counters back into here again. Oh, there's the, there's the flower. P 
here. Okay. We can sell all these. We don't need extras of these in the slightest. More decorations here, though, that apparently didn't stack anywhere else. Wall skeletons, gothic chairs, catacomb painting, gothic table, bathtub, bookcase, painting. Some tungsten bars, gold chests. Got a few different chests in here, but these are not the kind of chests we were seeing in there. We got Thorns Potion, then the Potion Stand. Heart Reach, it's a Lantern. Increased range damage. We're not really using any range, so that's not really what we're looking for. It's got good defense, though. We would have one. It's got two more defense than the Gold Helmet. But also, the full gold has a three defense total bonus. So, in total, we would end up being minus one defense and plus range damage, which we don't use. That's okay. What's in here? Immunity to curse. Maybe be able to combine that with something else. Got more banners. We got some gel. Maybe the campfire round is. Pretty convenient. Do we do we keep the shadow keys on us? Is the next question. Tungsten bars, gold bars. Probably not. Statues in here. We got the hammer statue. Here's a handgun. Range damage. Very fast, very weak knockback. Hmm, maybe. Cool. Still not as fast as the ruthless harpoon in situations where that'd be useful. Alchemy table. There is three percent. Chance to not consume potion crafting ingredients. And craft potions. Some, somehow. This is definitely slower. It's got more reach. But if we want reach, we got other options here too. Pretty big damage though. Very slow though. That's an interesting idea. And here we got banners. We got a voodoo doll. Equipable. I don't know about that. It's equipable, so we'll put it in here, I guess. Lantern is cosmetic. I wonder if we're gonna go back to the dungeon again. We need like a chest here. Water chest for keys and stuff. Yeah. Having the campfire around is pretty convenient. And I put the other one of these in there, unfortunately. So that's not that's not quite what we want to do. I think we can lock spot here. Inventory. Mm. There's a beast here, right? Emotes window. This locks the hot bar. Doesn't seem very locked. Still moving stuff around. It's just gonna be the hot bar there too. That's not actually going to solve that.
Mm. We really need a campfire. What's it take? Wooden torches? Make that anyway? Yeah, we can. That's not something we really need. Campfire's like a buff kind of thing. Got a decent amount of different kinds of potions and stuff in here now, so that's nice. Let's see. Is there anything we can do with this? Megaphone, immunity to silence. May counter curse mantra, immunity to silence and curse. Alright. I don't know what kind of curses we're gonna be dealing with here. That sounds a little bit suspicious. Oh, we're getting buffs for days off of all these. Increase damage and defense from all these things. So, depending on what the range of this is, might be helpful to put these in the actual place where we find them. Increase damage and defense. Hmm. Or we can just put them all over here. That's also an option. All right. Right here. All right, we got all these tally counters. We have so many of them. I don't think we're gonna need additional tally counters. Anything special on here? Crit, melee speed, damage, damage, movement speed. If we keep just this one in this chest, it won't be able to stack because that chest is full. We also sell some of these, like a regular B gun. We need to be careful not to accidentally sell one of these kinds of things that we want. I keep some of these though. Let's see what we can get for selling some stuff here. There's the good one of those. Not that we really need more space. Necessarily. I'm gonna talk to Merchant here. Shop. Sell price for 53 silver. That works. Sell the beans for two gold. This for two gold. This for two gold. This for one gold. 40. Nice. A bit of profit there, I suppose. And we, we were definitely getting a multitude of those. How does yo-yo weapon work? That is our first time throwing a yo-yo, apparently. So it just exists out here, spinning around. Uh, it exists until it hits something, apparently. Maybe a little longer. Interesting. Got so many different types of weapons and options here. Got like flails and yo-yos. That's definitely a different style for sure. I just like the regular old sword. Simple and effective. There's also spears, lances or something. All right. So we're still looking for this craft a molten pickaxe business. Seeing the doors during night. Let's see if we get some more tips here. They say it's terrible for golfing. No self-respecting golfer would be caught in a desert, right? I guess. Where's swears of interest to you? A wandering merchant, option visits with exotic merchandise? Yep. 
Not all undead monsters are hostile. One sells merchandise deep underground. If you thought rainy days were a drag, wait to see it raining slime. Yep, we've dealt with that. Beautiful lanterns floating across the night sky. The people of this world celebrate your victories. Wishing you good fortune. Place an empty bottle on the table. Use it to craft all sorts of neat potions. Okay, that's something new. Place an empty bottle on a table. Thing. Let's just spread the crimson is what we can do with that. We need we need more specific potion stuff. Clearly. Potions is definitely an idea. Any other tidbits? I mean banners here from defeating foes, so there'll be future combat. Yep. Pretty cool in the snow biome. New treasure there. I'd check it out. I could check out the snow biome. That's basically the opposite of what we're trying to do now with the flaming pickaxe business. Antlion tunnels deep beneath the desert, full of rare fossils and hazards. Poked into there a little bit. Find a marble biome, be careful. So the locations are inhabited by some very dangerous creatures. Mm. Granite biomes. Very stone itself is a threat. Coming to life and attacking intruders. And you break from all this adventuring, there's also time. Some good old fashioned fishing. Yep. Explore underground, you'll find, find helpful fairies. They'll lead you to treasure. I think we saw one of those. Crimson hearts can be found in chasms around crimson areas. Stashing too many will unleash the brain of Cthulhu. Defeating this foe may cause meteors to fall out of the sky. Okay. That's how we go there. The brain of Cthulhu. And then meteors happen. Perfect. That is the bit of information we needed there. So we need to get that happening by destroying more Crimson Hearts. Okay. What do we need for that? Just a bunch of bombs? Sounds like a plan to me. Are we ready for that? Questionable. Why not, though? Why not give it a shot? Because I think that's where we need to be going now. Just have to look around for the information that exists. And then you're pretty much going to get there. So. The brain of Cthulhu. And then meteors will happen. Hopefully they don't hit anything... Too important. Either way, we'll worry about that next time. Goodbye.